in Christ. We are one in Christ. Hello, everybody. This is Remedy John, a gospel artist from Nigeria, Africa. And you're actually listening to Jerry Ross Live Worldwide Podcast. You don't want to miss this great show. Hook up, hook up, hook up. God bless you. God bless you. Hello, my name is C, and I am recording artist from Rwanda in Africa. You're listening to the best internet radio station in the USA with Jerry Royce Live and Positive Power 21. <laughs> the power can you feel the power feel the power a double x high power 21.org internet radio you are listening to Jerry Roy Slide worldwide podcast hey 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti but I live in Dominican Republic I'm here positive power 21 Jerry Ross live worldwide that's right you tell him, little buddy, you're listening to Late Night, Late Night with Jervis Live Worldwide, right here on Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media, and I am the Batman of Charm City, and welcome everybody, we hope you had a super duper Monday, we hope all is well, great weekend, happy Mother's Day, happy belated Mother's Day to all the mothers and all our heavenly mothers. That's right, because we lost some good ones, y'all, during 2020 and 2021. Um, but, you know, close, we keep them close to our hearts. That's right. That's all we could do. Keep them close to our heart, and hopefully they are looking out for us while we still earthbound. All right, everybody, we got a great show. We got Kimmy Kim right here, going to be co-hosting the show. We got a great, great, great person. Wow, this person got so much talent. It's, it's, it's off the chain. We got Ashley Blanchard here. That's right. She's a, a singer, songwriter, music producer, solo music artist, motivational speaker, activist, and two-time author. That's right. So Kimmy gonna be here to, to talk to her, and you get a chance to find out what else she could do. And she does a lot. All right, let's bring Kimmy Kim and see what's going on in Kimmy Kim's world. What's going on in your world, Kimmy Kim? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, Batman, aka Jerry Royce? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm doing good. It's it's been a great Monday. Got my workout on, so I'm I'm hyped. Yeah, happy oh. Mother's Day. Yeah, happy Mother's Day to you. Hope you had a great day with the girls. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. How was your Mother's Day with your wife? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we was we just came back from North Carolina, so we uh we actually took out that night and then um later on we was trying to do breakfast, but um we couldn't do breakfast. The the restaurant was like an hour and a half to two hours behind, even on curbside. Oh wow. Yeah. So that was kind of crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah. So anyway, we end up, um, you know, doing a late dinner and, you know, we chilled out, talked to the kids and everything. And cause my son had to get ready for his new job. So we was just chilling and relaxing and everything. So it was great. It was great. We got her favorite dishes. So she was happy. She was oh, happy camper. Okay. Amen. Okay, that's all, right. all that matters. That's right, that's Everyone, right. Well, well, we just want to be pamper, you know? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So we been, and matter of fact, she actually, um, her gift w- came in a little late, but it came in today. So my daughter gave her a gift today. Um, compliments of Nikki Barry's company, Nikki Barry's Candles. And uh, she gave her a journal. We got, well, we was able to give her a journal and everything came with the, the beautiful scented candles. So if you, you ever want some beautiful scented candles, Something that just blow up your house, man, with the with a spiritual aroma. You gotta check out Nikki Can- Nikki Candles. I think you go out to Nikki Berry Music to her website and check it out. All right, so okay. support the That's black okay. businesses, support our sisters. All right, I already believe in that. That's right. That's right. We gotta do that, y'all. We gotta keep the movement going. It's, you know, we just went through a whole lot with the whole George Floyd movement, the Black Lives Matters. You know, we gotta start dropping our coins on each other. You know, 
so so into their business and so into your own business, you know? That's right. A lot going on. Yeah. So other than that, everything good? Everything is good. I can't complain. I'm just on the uh, radio with you, having the, the best time, and you're amazing. And once again, thank you so much for this platform. I love doing radio with you. Thank so, you. Thank I'm you, Kimmy Kim. Thank you. And I'm just so impressed with my Miss Ashley. I mean, I know. She's doing a lot. She's yeah. an author, a motivator speaker. That's right. Um, I'm just... I'm just uh, waiting on to get to know her. And uh, once again, I thank you for this opportunity to fellowship. You're welcome. Yeah, you know we met we met Ashley on um, on Clubhouse. Sometimes I don't get a chance to really hit the stage because you know they, sometimes it take hours to get up on the stage to speak. So normally, if somebody make it and you know I check out their profile and their Facebook page, see what they're doing. And if it looked like they make a great guest, I would just DM them or or email them. A lot of them got it set up where you can actually email them, which is always good. And Ashley had you know she was very impressive. So I said, look, look, let's bring on to the podcast. And let her talk to to millions, because you know we got some people listening to this to this show. That's right. Absolutely. Compliments I love to Jerry Royce. That's right. Jerry, Jerry. Compliments <laughs> to Pray Doubt. That's right. <laughs> I know you get me all the time, but we just want to give a shout out to our our, our folks over at Pray dot com, helping us uh, bring our listeners overseas. That's right. We're broadcasting live right now over to Africa and yeah. South America. That's right. That's their biggest biggest audience. So we appreciate all the people listening to us on the islands and all our radio angels. This this part is this bringing our podcast to their internet radio state. We really appreciate you guys because you know nobody is too small. You know, an ear is an ear. That's how I look at it. Ear is an ear. So when it all adds up at the end of the day, it's all right to me. That's what I'm saying. All right. That's what I'm saying. That's right. And shout out to my baby girl, too. She's home now, her and my son. Um, We're going to be in the studio cranking out the shows. You know, um, her show just got on the People's Channel in North Carolina, Durham, Chapel Hill. Uh, Carlsboro and Roxbury. So she's going to be hitting. Uh, so they got millions of subscribers on the People's Channel. It's an awesome station. I was sorry I couldn't stop by there, but when we when we was passing through, I think it had to have been about five o'clock. So I know they was closed, so we had to keep keeping on. But anyway, we appreciate the uh, what they do over the People's Channel. They had just hit me up before I hit the hit the road, and they told us that uh, that uh, music video profile is going to be airing every day this week, premiering. That's right. On the People's Channel, so we thank him so much. Of course, we got a shout out to our people in, in uh, over at, uh, at BronxNet and and Brooklyn that carry the show as well. So, uh, any artists out there looking to get exposure to your music, and exposure means not just people listening to your music, but other other stations picking your music up because when they hear hear you here, they want you there too. So uh, they see you got a music video, and you know they they want to be they want you to be part of them too. So um, you know, don't be hesitant about putting money into your music video production it does work music look, look what happened to beyonce and michael jackson and them television will never go away it's a captured audience it's the number one media matter of fact most corporations do all three they they're streaming you know social media and they, and they also they're hitting you up of course they're hitting you up in your emails and they they on TV and radio, so you got to take advantage of all the mediums that that you can afford to uh, take advantage of. Because <laughs> I know it's expensive. Wow! Tell me. All right, you ready to talk to Miss Ashley? I am ready to talk to Sister Ashley. Well, here she That's is. What's up, Miss Ashley? How are you? Welcome to late night. Well, hello, hello. Blessings huh? to all of you. How you guys are doing on this blessed Monday evening? Awesome. Wow, she sounds like a songbird. Even her I speaking know. voice. She has a beautiful voice. <laughs> I know. Oh. Her speaking voice is awesome. <laughs> That's why she's a motivational speaker. She inspires people just listening to her. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Love to have you. But look, I'm I'm on mute. Kimmy's going to carry the interview. You guys have a great time. If you need me, I'm right here. Have a great show. Hello, my sister. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm 
I love your voice. It's so tender. See, I have a soft voice. People don't realize, but I do. So now I can talk to you, and we both have soft voices. You're so amazing. And once yeah. again, Miss Ashley, thank you so much for this opportunity to get to know you and to fellowship with you. Uh, but my first question is to um, you is, um, can you tell the listeners, who is Ashley Blanchard? Well, Ashley Blanchard is somebody that is passionate, that is a prayer warrior, has a faith in God, that is, that works hard, that, you know, is in self-empowerment. All right, she is um, strong, she is courageous, mm. and she's not afraid, you know, to be herself. Mm. You know what? I love that last statement. She is not afraid to be herself because, unfortunately, not I'm just talking about uh, the body of Christ. You find a lot of people in the body of Christ, they are afraid to be who they are. And so they try things, unfortunately, that God did not design, design them to do. So they're out of their purpose. So thank you so much to acknowledge that because it is okay to be who you are. I love it. And so I love the fact that you you love, you have a faith in God, you know, work a hard worker, and you're passionate. Um, what inspires you to, you know, do the motivation speaking for those who are needing to be uplifted? What motivate, what motivates you to do that? Well, what what motivates me is that you know I can be able you know, to be a blessing to people and to be a anointed vessel to people and to share my testimony and my story and just, you know, encourage people that no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're mm-hmm. dealing with, God is still in control and God is still on the throne. And, you know, just encourage them that, you know, just continue to focusing on being successful and focusing on doing the calling that God has placed over their life to do. And just don't let, don't let net. Do not let any negative comments or words or any negative things or obstacles or struggles that they're going through stop them, you know, from being the person that God has called them to be and reaching the great things that God is doing in their life. Amen. Amen. You mentioned something that's very powerful. Words, they do matter. Please, do you mind elaborate on that because... Um, I was brought up to believe that sticks and stones will, will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. After going through the um, verbal abusive uh, marriage, I realized that is wrong. So tell the listeners why it is important for you to be careful on your words. It's the, well, the important reason why is, is, you know, very careful. You know, you got to be careful you know, of your words because, you know, there's some things that you can say that you cannot take back or you can say things that are very hurtful. You got to continue to spread the love to each other, all right, and also continue to spread the love to ourselves, all right, because it says in the Bible that we should love one another as God loves us. So we got to have that faith and we got to have the courage to love one another and to encourage each other and continue to have faith in each other and continue to motivate each other, show ourselves, show each other some self-empowerment. But we got to make sure that we do it to ourselves too as well. We got to keep on speaking positive things over ourselves. We got to keep on showing ourselves self-love and self and self-empowerment and, you know, and self um care and everything so we got to make sure that we do to each other but we got to do to ourselves we got to keep on speaking positive things over ourselves because you know every morning when we wake up and when we look ourselves in the mirror we got to encourage ourselves that we are more than a conqueror that we are the head and not the tail that we are above and not beneath that we Come are on, the my we are that we are because it says because when we look at psalms 139 verse 14 it says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made we got to keep on encouraging ourselves that we healed that 
that we are delivered, that we are restored, that God is in control, that God is going to bring us out, God is going to heal us, God is going to help us overcome, God is going to deliver us. So we got to make sure that we continue to spread the love to each other, but we got to make sure that every morning when we wake up and when we look ourselves in the mirror, we got to keep on speaking positive things over ourselves and keep on showing ourselves some self-love and self-care and self-empowerment. We got to make sure that our self-confidence, you know, increase others because how can we you know encourage others if we don't encourage ourselves so we gotta make sure we keep on speaking positive things over ourselves in order for us to continue to spread the love and encourage others too as well oh my goodness my sister Woo. love 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 encourage yourself um, you must speak positive self care self care you know I was in denial of self care uh, because I'm always, I was always the one wanting to serve others. But um, as I was going through my, you know, the journey of coming back to Christ after my divorce, Jesus um, gave me this saying that how can you help others if you can't help yourself? And you just confirm it. You can't help others if you're not helped. And so with that being said, um, what are some of the things that people can do with self-care? Because a lot of people are more so focused on the outer, but they're still broken inside. Um, I, I I really believe in um, starting from the inward, and then the outward will come naturally. What are some of the things that people can do to start their self-care inward? Well, we've got to keep on, you know, acknowledging already that, you know, rejection is going to come no matter what. You know, not everybody's going to like us. Not everybody's going to love us or support us. We got to keep on making sure that we know that that God sees the best in us, that God sees the great in us. Like, like I mentioned earlier, you know, yes, I'm going to be rejected by other people. I'm going to be rejected by other bullies and naysayers. But I can have the strength to wake myself up in the morning, and I have the strength to look myself in the mirror, and I have the strength, you know, to uh, oh, you know, to speak positive things over my life. You know, like for an example, you know, I'm sharing my testimony about how I overcame a battle with mental health illness for 21 years. Yeah, this year I'm celebrating 21 years of being sober from mental health illness. And because me going through this battle, I struggle with self-confidence. I struggle with self-empowerment. I struggle with self care and self-love. I had a struggle, you know, waking myself in the morning, waking myself in the morning and encourage myself while looking myself in the mirror that God is with me, that I am beautiful, that I am strong, that I'm a winner, I'm a champion. Mm-hmm. So I had a difficult hard time of dealing with that. And also plus dealing with this learning disability too on top of that. I also had me of course but you know, since you know me joined this Christian journey in two thousand and nine and learned how to trust God and learn how to have faith in him you know, now I have the courage, you know, to wake myself in the morning and I have to, you know, and, you know, encourage myself. Now I have the strength. Now, since I'm 21 years sober, now I can, you know, have the strength to encourage myself and speak positive things over my life. So we got to make sure that, you know, before we spread the love to each other, you know, for inward, we got to keep make sure that we continue to spread the love to ourselves. We got to keep on showing ourselves some self empowerment. We got to make sure that our self confidence is increased. We got to make sure that we got to encourage, you know, ourselves. We mm-hmm. got to declare and decree positive things over our lives. We got to make sure that we are straight. We got to make sure that we are well mentally, physically, and spiritually. So I think that's the first step. Make sure that we take care of ourselves. Make sure we continue to every day, you know, spread the love to ourselves, spread the, you know, spread happiness to ourselves, continue to, sp- you know, continue to spread, you know, self empowerment self-love and self-care to us so that I think that's the first step oh wow my sister <laughs> uh wow you know I'm a love follower so I I uh confirm that love is the only way because in 13 Corinthians first Corinthians chapter 13 he says Jesus the greatest three is hope faith and charity but the greatest is charity which means love so you can have all these wonderful um talents but if you have no love they are sounding brass with that being said i love your hashtag 
that says, love yourself campaign for mental illness. My sister, the church is so, um, they are so, some of the church, um, you know, going believers, they ignore mental health. How important is this? Because I am passionate about mental health because uh, mental health, without that, you can't have a sound um, life because sometimes when you have mental illness, it can lead to physical illness. So please elaborate. I love your hashtag, Love Yourself Campaign. Tell me more about that and more about the importance of mental health health. You have to be healthy. <laughs> yes. I love it. So I started this campaign back in 2019, you know, what I was starting, you know, because on my birthday, on my 23rd birthday, that's when I started to share my testimony about overcoming this battle of mental health illness. And um, um, I decided that, you know, to continue to spread, you know, the topics of self-empowerment and self-confidence and self-love and self-care. I decided I'm going, I'm going to create this, you know, into a campaign that we need to continue to spread, you know, positive words over to each other and to ourselves. But we got to make sure that we continue to, you know, spread positive things to ourselves and keep on saying positive words over ourselves and keep on encouraging ourselves that we're more than a conqueror, that we are the head and not the tail, that we are above yes. and not beneath, that we are victorious, that we are winners, that we are champions. We walk into our breakthrough, we walk into our healing, we walk into our deliverance because, you know, as I mentioned this, you know, I think in church yesterday that this is the season of, we walk into the season of greatness because this is our year to be great. We walk into a season of winning because this is our year to win. We walk into a season of deliverance because this is our year to be delivered. We walk into a season of healing because this is our year to be healed. We walk yes. into a season of breakthrough because this is our year to receive a breakthrough. We walk mm-hmm. into a season all right, of re- of restoration because this is our year to be restored. We walk into a season, you know, an increase because this is our year to receive an increase, increasing opportunities, increasing businesses, increasing ministries that the people might have. All right, so we shouldn't let no obstacles, no distractions, no negative roadblocks, no negative words, or negative comments, as I mentioned earlier, stop us from being the northern man of God or the northern woman of God that God has caused the people to be because we we are the child of the Most High God. Like I mentioned in Psalms 139, verse 14, it says that we are perfectly and wonderfully made. So we got to make sure that we continue to spread the love to each other, but we got to make sure that we continue to spread the love to ourselves. we got to keep on saying to ourselves, yes, I'm being rejected. I'm being pushed away by bullies and naysayers, but I know that I serve a God that sees the best in me. I know I serve a God that sees the great in me. And now since I believe that and since I received that in my heart, I can wake myself in the morning and I can look myself in the mirror and I have the strength and I have the courage to speak mm-hmm. positive things over my life and keep on encouraging myself that I am more than a conqueror. I am the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. That I am victorious. I am a winner. I am a champion. This is my year of breakthrough. This is my year of winning. This is my year of greatness. Miracle blessing. Go for about to come. about to hit my life and it's about to happen for me. Miracle signs and wonders. Greater things and bigger things and better things. Just like, you know, my series asked inspiration now is turning to a talk show mm. now all right but I go girl episode 12 you know for my series that god is supplying and restoring what we lost and it's going to be seven times greater mm. and bigger and better than ever so we got to keep on encouraging ourselves from episode 13 from my talk show as this inspiration that we refuse and we won't let the devil win because we serve a god that is fighting for us we got to understand that god is going to choke us when we look at psalm 121 <sighs> all right it says that will lift up my eyes until the hills will cover my health my help comes from my the Lord, which, from the Lord. Heaven, which made heaven and earth. All right. We got to know that our help comes from God. Because when we look at Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, that we serve a God that can what? Supply all of our needs through Christ mm-hmm. Jesus. All right. So we got to make sure that God is still in yes. control. So the port, so the importance of this campaign that I founded is that we got to continue to speak positive things over our lives. Or keep on saying positive words over our lives. Continue to keep on showing ourselves self-love self-care, all right, to make sure that our self-confidence is being increased and also to continue, all right, to focusing on showing ourselves some self-empowerment as well. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you, (laughs) you're definitely uh, a 
an amazing uh, motivational speaker. Um, your words are powerful because you bring the word of God. And you cannot go wrong when you're using the word of God. Thank you so much for that. And uh, if you don't mind, can you tell us more about your podcast? Because I see that you podcast, you have two books, and I didn't know that you wrote music. You write music too? Oh, my goodness. God is definitely using you. So tell us more about the podcast and where can people find you on your podcast? Okay. How can they follow your podcast? So I have a series and a podcast. My series, like I mentioned earlier, has turned into a talk show. So my okay. talk show now is called Ashley's Inspirations. And my podcast is called Inspirational Time with Ashley Blanchard. I go on social media and also the podcasting networks that I bring forth the word of God and also give out some spiritual words of encouragement, some devotions, and also do some praise and worship and some singing. And now you can catch my talk show, Ashley's Inspirations, on the streaming Inspirational Broadcasting Network. I just finished doing my first episode last Wednesday. And I'm about to do another episode. And I'm I'm about to do another episode, all right, on this Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m., so make sure you tune in to that, all right, and then I am also now an author of three books because I just released, you know, last week I just recently released my third book called I Am Determined. Um, my three books are My Journey to Recovery, Inspirational with Ashley Blanchard, and my third book now I just released is called I Am Determined. Um, my first book, My Journey to Recovery, my journey to recovery it talks about all right my spiritual connection with god my faith in god and also my music connection helped me overcome my battle with mental health illness for 21 years last year was 20 years this was a vision you know that god congratulations all right this Thank you. Um, this was a series, and this was a vision, you know, that God was giving me back in 2019, you know, to make sure, you know, to encourage people that no matter what battle or addiction or that they're going through, God can help them overcome. God is going to heal them from it. God is going to restore them from it. All right, and then my second book, slash my first devotional book, Ashes Inspiration, and give out some spiritual words, encouragement, and some scriptures to read. And now my third book that I just released is called I Am Determined. It's about making a firm decision, making a firm decision where you're going to continue to focus on the great things that God is doing in your life and continue to focus on being successful. All right, so those are my three books. Oh, my goodness. How? I mean, you're doing so much wonderful work, and uh, I love your, I love your um, voice. It's so soothing, and to know that you overcame to health, you only your 21 years, 21st year, and you're writing books, you're making music. What do you do outside of your wonderful uh, purpose? What are some of the hobbies that you enjoy doing? Well, my well, I you know just now just mentioned I work a full time job as a teacher's aide. At my one okay. of my former alma maters that I go to, that I used to go to as a child. All right, and I used to be a home health aide, but now I'm a teacher's aide. And as you mentioned earlier, I did release you know my third album back. Then, I think. I think it was in March or April. I think it was last month that I released my third album. I had three solo music albums out. And plus, I do some music covers by my favorite singing solo music artists that I look up to. And also, I got some brand new music singles out too as well. So if I'm not doing my music or my business or my books or my podcast in my series, I'm just a regular I'm just a regular girl, you know, going, you know, to my job, working, and continue uh -huh. to help my family go going to church, or attending Bible study, you know, reading the Bible and everything. Oh, that's beautiful. You, you're you living on purpose. I mean, how can you go wrong when you're reading the Word of God, you're pursuing the Word of God, your purpose is based on the Word of God? You're living the best life. I tell people when you become a believer, your life becomes more fun, more enjoyable because you're you're serving. He gives you this confidence. He gives you this peace, this joy that the world can't take away. So with that being said, what are some of your um, the things that you love to do the most uh, when it comes to um, 
motivating. What is your first passion? Motivating, music, writing. I know it's kind of hard to really take them all because they actually well, is a link to each up, uh, each of them because I can see like how your writing came from your music and your music probably came from your um, loving to write. So what are some of the things that you love to do the most? Well, my first passion, my calling was singing because this is singing. something that I was starting to do, you know, since I was four or five years old. I started oh, wow. singing at a church choir. I heard I started singing in the choir in the church. I grew up in the church, so I started. that's when I started mm-hmm. to sing. I heard I know this was my first calling that God has placed on my heart to do right? because as a little girl singing songs, listen to the video, <laughs> listen to music, listen to my favorite solo music artists like Jennifer Hudson, Mahaya Jackson, okay. Whitney Houston, she don't know Mahaya Jackson. <laughs> All right, Aretha Franklin, Fantasia, Kelly Clarkson, Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato, Ariana Grande, Grande. Um, um, you know, Mary Mary, Cece Whining, Whining. Whining. Mm-hmm. All right, Mary J. Right, Blige, Fantasia, yeah. Jordan, Jordan Sparks, Sparks, Carrie Underwood, Taylor Swift. You know, yeah, you name it, you know, but I listen to my favorite soul music artists, you know, that I look up to and also also singing in the church, growing up in the church, all right, and then, you know, singing in the choir in school and also in college and high school, and then I started to do musicals out of school and in school and also in college, and then, you know, my solo music career started when I started doing talent shows, open mics, started doing solos in the church, all right, started to do praise and worship, all right, you know, traveling to other places and to other churches, doing local Seeing engagements in there, and here's a real fun fact. I also part also participated in the John Lennon Educational Bus Tour, and that's when I started getting my you know you know my first experience of being on you know in the music studio and oh, also wow. you know recording music and and to see what it seems like to be in the studio and recording music. Now I got three solo music albums out, and then my songwriting career started during my freshman year of high school, but I really took it seriously. I think it was during my 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 I think my senior year of high school and my first year of college. And that's how my first solo music album, Rise Expressions and Feelings Through Music came about because, you know, my music producing career started during my years of college because I was starting taking, you know, classes in re- recording engineering and many to technology. I, I was getting more to learn about the studio more and how to make music more. I was learning about the, the dynamics and the compression. So my first, that's how my first album, you know, came about. And then I used some of the tracks from my first album, you know, to create, you know, my my second solo music album has Ashley hashtag unfiltered. All right, and then now I'm doing, you know the best pol- live performances that I did on my third album actually has tech on filter part two and so now I'm in the process of working on my fourth album now and I'm looking for a studio you know and you know to connect with other producers and music artists because I'm all type I like all types of music I'm into all the too. artists you know that I was mentioning you know I'm all type of music I love you know listen to all types of genre and that's the type of singer songwriter solo music artist and music producer that I want to be that travel you know to other different genres of music trying different types of music you know you know to explore more because mainly I sing R&B and gospel now I'm adding some pop into it I'm adding some you know jazz into it I'm adding some like I'm starting to listen to Latin jazz artists like Selena all right, and also listen to regular jazz like Ella Fitzgerald, Billy Holiday, Louis Jordan, you know, like that, and also do some rock and metal like Evanescence and Nickelback. You know, I'm, you know, I'm trying to like to explore, you know, different ty- different types of genre, you know, within that. Oh my goodness, my sister, you 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 are amazing. You you are not only wonderful, but you're a true servant of the living God. And I just want to thank you for this opportunity to uh, uh, to fellowship with you. And uh, where can people find you on social media? I I know that Jerry mentioned that you are also on a clubhouse. Where else can they find you if they're looking to? You know, they may want to you know follow your podcast. They want to follow you know what you're doing, so we can make sure that we're supporting you. 
how can you be uh, located? Well, uh, yes, I'm on Clubhouse. I'm on Clubhouse at Ashley Love 555. I do have a club on Clubhouse. It's called Inspirational Moments with Ashley Blanchard. And I host, I just finished hosting my first room, you know, event you know, there event too there. as well. Oh, wow. All right, so, How was it? You know, it was good. I love Clubhouse. It was a big experience because it was getting close because I was celebrating one year of the series. And that's how that's you know the talk, talk show. That's show. how my that's series how turned into a talk show came about. And so I, you know, just finished hosting a clubhouse club event club. on there. So please follow the club. There will be more worship, you know, experiences happening and more events that's going to be happening there. All right. They also can follow me on my Facebook page. And what is your clubhouse show. name? I'm sorry for it, interrupting. My club. So my clubhouse name is Ashley Love Five Ninety Five. And my club on Clubhouse is called Inspirational Moments with Ashley Blanchard. So that's, okay. you know, that's the name of the my Clubhouse name and the club that I have on Clubhouse. And they can also follow me on my Facebook page at Ashley Blanchard, on my business page on Facebook at Ashley Katisha Blanchard. They can also can follow me on my Instagram, same thing, my personal Ashley Love 509, and also my business page at I am Ashley Blanchard, all right, or lowercase. All right, they can also can follow me on Twitter at I am, um, at I am Miss Ashley. All right, they can get my all three of my books. Uh, on Amazon.com, and also you can, they can check all my music or the my masters on Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, all right, and everything. So check out for more info. Awesome. And so I just want to thank you so much, my sister Ashley. Um, you're so amazing. I love your – it's so soothing. I could just listen to you um, – for a long time. I mean, it's so soothing. Um, what is your, like, when, you know, when God calls us home and we get our wings, what kind of legacy would you like to leave behind? Well, um, to make sure that the people were inspired, the people are inspired by my music, by my books, that I encourage them to help them to overcome, you know, whatever battle or addiction that they go through, and also to know that to be encouraged and continue to have faith and keep praying. Mm. And you also mentioned that you battled mental illness for over 21 years. How did you overcome that? It was it was through my faith in God and praying and music, singing. Mm. Those were like the two main things that helped me overcome. Mm. That's you know why I ask that because. Um, mental illness is very serious and it's, it's been serious but unfortunately sometimes um, because you don't look sick people don't think you're sick but that's not you know really accurate and I just love the fact that you're transparent about your mental illness overcoming and I really believe mental health is important it's important to get a counselor it's important to get a psychologist I, I have a Christian counselor. I meet with him every year because I really believe your mental health is as important as your physical health. So thank you so much for that transparency because, unfortunately, you know, we have this in the church that, you know, we don't have that, but we do. And God, he is a counselor. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't know where I would be without God in on my side. And I thank you so much for that transparency. And what are – um. What is your favorite um, chapter in the book, in the in the Bible? Well, I like the book of Psalms. And mm. so my personal one is Psalms 121, like I mentioned earlier. Too. And Psalms 102 as well. I love 100. I love 123, 94, 84. Oh, girl. I, and you know what's so amazing about God? Um, Psalms is a book of Psalms. And uh, it is the biggest book in the Bible. So apparently God knew that music was important. <laughs> so I, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. You're so amazing. Um, I'm going to bring um, Jerry back on just to check to see if he has any more uh, closing questions that he would like to ask you. But before I do, I would love for you to pray us out 
after Jerry uh, comes on. And I, I just want to thank you, my sister. You're, you're, um, you're so strong. You have to drive this eagerness to just continue on doing what God has called you to do. You started from singing, and now God is using you for his glory. That is just such an amazing story. And so, Jerry, you know it's hard to do 45 minutes here. <laughs> so many wonderful people. And now, now Ashley, I mean, just she has this soft-spoken voice, but it's powerful. Her yeah, powerful. that's right. She was throwing down. But well, Ashley, yeah. we just want to thank you so much for coming out here and sharing your your testimony with our audience. Uh, it's always inspiring people because you got some people who have given up. And sometimes it just takes God to, um, you know, just give them this one message and change their life. So thank you so much. Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much for inviting me to come on. I totally appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. That's all I got. Kimmy Kim. We got a lot going on here in the studio. We got a couple shows. We got to get out to the, cause you know, we was out of town all weekend. So we kind of behind. Okay, so we're going to have our sister prayers out, and I just want to thank the listeners for giving us opportunity to be in your household. Please uh, revisit this particular recording. I'm going to re- make sure I listen to this again because, wow, Ashley, you, you are amazing. So please pray us out, and thank you, Jerry, for this opportunity. Amen. Uh, okay. I just can't give up now. I go too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be the end. I don't believe he brought me this far. Believe me, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. All oh, that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my contentment, hope for all. I do, Jesus, you're the sister of my joy. Father, in the name Mm. of Jesus, I come to you right now. I speak love, I speak happiness, I speak joy. I speak great things. So, Father, I come to you because we need healing, we need strength, we need guidance. I decree and declare that great things are about to happen for this year. I'm telling you, um, I pray that miracle blessings overflows, miracle signs and wonders come, all right, and happen for these people. I pray that increase in ministries, increase in businesses, increasing dreams and goals that they have. I pray that this radio station will help touch lives and right, to people and also save souls and also, and also encourage and minister to the people that no matter what they're going through, that you are still in control, that you're going to heal them, that you're going to deliver them, that you're going to restore them, that you're going to help them overcome. I want this radio show, I want this interview, you know, to be a blessing to people and to touch them. I want to show them that they will be successful, that they will be healed, that they will be restored, that they will be delivered. All right, I want this radio station, this talk show, all right, and especially this interview to encourage them that that no matter what battle or addiction, all right, that they're going through, all right, they will overcome this. They will get through this. They will be healed from this. They will be delivered from this. I want this radio show and this interview to encourage them that they are not alone, that you're with them, that you see the best of them, that you see the greater them. So I pray for strength, 
I pray for healing. I pray for restore, restoration, acceleration. I pray for miracle signs and wonders, miracle blessing, overflows, greater things and bigger things and better things to happen. Please continue to watch over us. Please continue to cover us all in your blood as we're living in this world today. Please continue to protect us, guide us, and, and keep us in your care. Please wrap the please wrap your arms around us. All right, Lord, every day as we go to work, as we go to school, please make sure you be there with the young people. Make sure you guide the young people. Make sure you protect them and heal them. All right, please continue to increase. All right, all right, please continue to increase, you know, every ministry, every calling that you have placed over them, like to continue to bring your word out to the other people so other people and their generation can be safe too as well. So please continue to watch over us, guide us, and keep us all. In Jesus' name that I pray, amen. 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 Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, Ashley. All right. Mm -hmm. Kimmy Kim. Mm -hmm. Great show. Wow. Thank you. Amen. I'm 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 full. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, young person. Ashley Blanchard. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. And we see you on Clubhouse. Amen. Yes. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I will be following you. That's right. Yep. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to Late Night with Jervis Live Worldwide. Don't forget, you can come back again Thursday at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time and catch Kelly Holland. That's right from Baltimore, Charm City. And don't forget all our triple podcasts starting off at 8 o'clock and 7 o'clock, depending on what day it is. And you can catch me on Merlin Gospel Live starting at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, followed by the the wonderful and amazing Dr. Diane Duckett becoming you at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, y'all. We catch y'all soon. And thank you for tuning in to Late Night on Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. Positive Power 21.org Internet Radio You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hey, hey, hey. My name is Davis and I'm from Haiti. But I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry Royce Live Worldwide. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hi, everybody. I'm Nina Taylor, and here is.